So the first thing we're going to do is put in a background, a background that we're going to work with. And um, as you can see, I already have my colors pre-selected. The color palettes that we're going to be using for this tutorial, I have them already pre-selected. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it over here. Let's keep it up there. Let's select the background and uh, select this color. This is a nice color over here. Okay, guys, so now we're going to lock our background so it doesn't move around, you know. Now, the next thing we're going to do is select our text and enlarge it. So at this point, you can choose any font you're comfortable with. And uh, just to warn you guys, not all fonts look good. Um, with this text effect, but you can always experiment obviously take your time Find something you like but for this tutorial. I'll be using I'll be using the Bugaki Apparently that's the name the Bugaki font uh, Most of you real graphic designers know the font But um, yeah, that's what we're using. So now we can write whatever we want Let me go for retro Oh, you know what? Let's go for Dumbo. I feel I'm just feeling like flying, you know. So we're going to enlarge in the text, make it big. You know, I like big things. No diddy, and uh, we're going to place it in the middle. So once we have this, guys. Make sure your text is selected. This is the most important part now. And go to the appearance panel. This is the appearance panel right here. Select these three dots. Hit on this button here to add a new stroke. Making sure your text is selected. What we're going to do now is select our fill and add and go and go and go and go and go. Let's first of all add in the fill. Because there's no fill, that's why we, we you, you can't see what's going on. So as I said, six copies here, moving horizontally by four pixels, and down here by let's say six pixels. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Let me try three pixels and see what it gives. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. We can actually, we can make more copies as much as possible. Let's try eight. Yeah, well, that's actually a lot. Let me just drop it down back to six. Okay, so here you can obviously play around just as you can see, I'm playing around and uh, you can come up with what looks good with your, your project, whatever you're working with. So, now that we have this, we're going to click OK. And now you can see the effect is taking place, but it's not really visible because it's black, you know, it's all black. So what we have to do now is add some color. And we're going to do that by selecting our text. Coming to object, expand experience and ungroup. And this is what we're going to do now. The first text is going to be white. So basically we're just adding color now. So I just got rid of the stroke. So guys, here we have it, our text, our infinity pool text effect. Yeah, it's looking good, you know, a retro style. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. This is my first time actually using camera to record myself while working. So I'm not really used to it. And um, I don't know, man, I, I, I just hope, uh, you know, this is my first time. I know it's going to be terrible, but definitely after some time, it's going to get better and better and better. You know, I just have to start. I just have to 
to do something at first you know it's um that's what's important and that's what's gonna make the difference you know and uh anyway i hope you guys enjoy stay tuned